All right, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to another video in this Unreal Engine 5 multiplayer tutorial series that we're currently making. Uh, I just recorded around 15 minutes of video, but it all got uh, stream recording froze and OBS shut down. So I am just going to have to walk you f through the first part. We did some changes, so let's skip. Let's just jump straight into it so that we catch up. Um, I did some changes. So the first thing that you should do is go into your master character. I moved the folders around a little bit, but I made a NPC a player characters folder. Moved this into the player characters and this into the NPC folder. Uh, we need to open our master character and switch around some nodes here because it wasn't really working. Uh, we had an issue with when the, the uh, enemy character actually changed its rotation as well because we were testing this on a uh, dummy that was only standing still, but now that our character is actually chasing us as well to change some things here. So I swapped out, there was a get actor location node here before we swapped it out for a get actor ice viewpoint. It's in the get hit direction animation. And we do find look at rotation. That's the same. Use this output pin instead. And this one also has a rotation variable. So from this rotation, we're going to get a delta rotator. And yours will probably be like this. And this connect here. here. So you're going to disconnect this, recombine this, like this into here instead. And then we're going to use this yaw. And one more thing. You can keep the values here the same. Uh, the only thing is you probably have back here and front here. Just swap them around so that this is the front and this is the back. And now it's going to work in all directions, like even if the character is in this. Now we take into account the actual rotation of this character as well. So that's the first thing. The other thing is we are... So in the last video, we set up the enemy being able to chase the player. So in your NPCs folder or wherever, you right click, you make a blueprint enumeration. Call it ENPC state, or whatever you want to call it. It's just what I call it. And in this one, we will probably add more states here, but for now, I'm going to do none. Chasing, attacking, and staggered. That's the states I'm gonna use for my C for now. And in our master MPC, in the utility click function, first add a variable. It's the variable that we just made, the enumeration called MPC state. So I'm just Naming it current NPC state. And this is likely what you have. Not even that. Uh, you probably have this pin connected here. Uh, so before everything, you promote this to a variable, call it current target. And then you plug in the current target to the server to instead. Then we're going to drag this NPC state, going to make a switch. So basically what we want to do here is we want to decide what action we are taking. So we are kind of making a behavior tree here. Not really behavior tree, but utility action functions or And then create a new function called decide action. 
And for now, I only have two possible actions here. To grab the distance to the current target. If that is less than 200, we're going to set the current MC state to attacking. If we're more than 200, we're going to set the MPC state to chasing. If that sounds reasonable. Uh, In the NPC behaviors graph, we're also going to create a new function called server attack. We're just going to drag out multiplay montage. And we can do multicast instantly here because we are already on the server because we are a an AI controller for this one. And for now, I'm just going to hard code it. And I have an attack animation here. I enable motion and it's just a basic zombie-ish attack. Code that one in there. This is going to be weird because it's going to keep attacking now. Oh wait, uh, so if attack server attack, right? See, keeps doing that, right? So we need a better way to do this, and that's likely this instead. I'm going to do an output here called show some state. And we're going to do a return node here. So if it's true, show some state will be attacking. If it's false, it will be chasing. And on the outputs here in the server attack, I'm gonna set it's attacking and server mode two. We're gonna set it's chasing. Here we're going to grab the current state. If it's not equal to attacking, it's now going to be attacking. If it's false, it's going to be not. So if we are already attacking, it's going to be set to none. Same for this state.
if we are not chasing, we're gonna chase. If we are chasing, we're gonna set ourselves to none. From one attack, keeps chasing. Oh wow, that's a new one. So it's not attacking from the server. That's weird. This only happens on the server. Let me pulse and check. All right, it should work. I know it didn't work for me because I played around in between rooms to try and do some, uh, um, like uh, animation client side thing to make the animation smoother. Just because I had a conversation in the comments, but I disabled that now. I will probably play around with that and might implement it later. But for now, this seems to work. You can see it's chasing us, we're moving around, we're moving away. After the attack, it's chasing us again. And if I now move fairly close to this player, and he starts attacking, and now I move away, it's gonna go to that one instead. There we go. You see. And it's not repeating the attack one more time. It's not. Because it now needs to initiate the chasing between every attack for it to work. So we're going to fix that in the next video. But that's going to be it for this one. Uh, just to keep it nice and short for once. And I will see you in the next one. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Patreon available for those who want to support the channel with a little bit of extra cash. See you in the next one.